Hey guys, this is Tony Solo here from The Natural Lifestyles. And in this very bird sound fucking crazy place, you can hear birds everywhere. So, as they are speaking to each other, just listen to me. When it comes to freedom, I want you to understand that you can't truly be free unless you're free in your body. Any man that's moving towards freedom in his life will come up against closure in his body. He'll come up against fear. <clears throat> and as the fear manifests in his body, he'll start to feel like he is constricted. And that constriction that he has is the very thing that he's going to start to move toward. Because he'll be wondering, and this is a guy who's very aware, he'll be wondering why does my stomach tighten when I'm around women? Why do I, when I'm around my mom, I feel like my throat shakes? Why is it that when I am confronted in any situation, my pelvic floor cl clenches up? The reason why is because these are all your patterns that you have allowed within yourself. These are all the closure patterns that you've allowed. And the step towards freedom, really being free, I mean, not the freedom of social freedom or the freedom of, yeah man, just go out there and be in flow, do the things and get in flow, not that freedom. I'm talking about actual freedom within. It happens through knowing where are your closures and opening through your closures, which means that are you bodily open in this moment? As you look at me, do you feel yourself clenched in any way? Do you feel, feel yourself wanting to run away from the information that I'm telling you? Do you feel like, okay, what you're saying right now, Tony, you know, you're not talking about chicks, so I'm really not interested in it. You're avoiding something, man. You're avoiding the actual thing that you need to pay attention to. Me within myself and being a person that's free, not like 100%, I'm not trying to sit here like freedom man, but me being a person who's completely, is always opening through the things inside of himself that he's scared of, or the constrictions that arise, have come to notice that freedom within itself can't be experienced unless it's bodily experienced. True freedom. True freedom is experienced when you can be in your body. You guys are wondering, okay, how can I allow myself to walk through this world, be a man who can speak the way he wants to speak, be a man that can live the way he wants to live, be a man that can go for what he wants, be a man that attracts into his life every, all the pleasures that he wants, how can I do that? That stems from a strong place inside of yourself. A place that many men move toward. Women, if you're watching this as well, that you move toward. You actually move towards freedom as a natural way of being. People have all these riots and all these fucking, you know, political fucking protests. They have all these different things happen just because they want freedom. And they think that they're gonna find the freedom outside themselves. They think that, okay, if I go out here and I make this protest, freedom will come for me. If I go out here and I fucking talk to this girl, freedom will come for me. If I go out here and I fucking uh, find a man, freedom will come for me. And as they are looking for freedom like this, they're teaching themselves that freedom is found with outside of myself. I have to find things to give me freedom on the inside. Freedom from pain, freedom from fear. People are always moving away from. Every, like most people in their life, they will always be moving away from. And then what that means is that they'll always be moving away from pain into pleasure. They'll always do that. And that's a natural inclination for people is to move away from pain. But what they don't understand, which is so counterintuitive, is that once you start to move toward pain, that is the way to the pleasure, the real pleasures you want. So if you think about it, it's not like pleasure, it's not like pain and pleasure, it's like pain and pleasure, the real pleasure you want.
So it's like moving through the pain will get you to the pleasure that you want. And this is not like physical fucking pain. I'm talking about the real pains that you deal with on the inside. So as I tell guys, and as I, you know, if you, the small amount of women that are watching this, <clears throat> your relationship to pain will be directly correlated to how free you'll be. It'll be directly correlated to how much pleasure you'll actually embody, how much pleasure you'll actually feel in your life, how sensitive you'll be to pleasures when they come, to you, when they come your way. I love freedom. I love being bodily open. The reason why is because I can experience myself stronger. You guys are in this experience to experience yourself in a sensitive way. Meaning like every touch, every emotion, you want to feel it to its intensity that you want to, that, you, that, you, that it needs. You really want to experience life in all its jewels. But at the same time, you're not wanting to go through what it takes to do that. You're incredibly amazing at coming up with excuses. You're incredible at it. Let's be honest. Everybody's incredible at excuses. It's so, so, so amazing when I'm in front of a person and I, maybe I ask them a question, the amount of <clears throat> amazing excuses they have. They have so many great excuses. And I'm like, all right, that excuse that you have right now is completely something that's stopping you from what you want. So what you want is not your excuse. You want freedom. So stop allowing your excuse to be in the way of what it is that you want. Become aware, as I always say. Become aware of what are, what are the times where I actually tried to come up with these genius excuses? Because they really are quite genius. In the moment, I'm like, holy fuck. Some guys come up with some really good shit. When I'm on workshop, they come up with really good stuff. And I tell them, like, what's really behind that, though? What are you really afraid of? What's really causing you not to be free in the way you want to? And where does it manifest in your body? That's why I always tell them. What are you afraid of and where does it manifest? Because once you start to know where does it manifest, you'll start to really understand how you can really be free. So if you really want to be free, understand that your body must be different. You have to change the way that your body is currently reacting to the world. The way that my body used to react to the world was just shut down in my heart shut down of my stomach I wasn't breathing fully my, sh my throat will become very very shaky people may notice that they're actually in the moments where they get scared or they become nervous they have a shaky throat it's just because they're expressing something in a moment of, of being afraid that's what it, what it is or they feel afraid and they're not expressing something and their, their throat just constricts but that's what used to happen to me and like most people I used to be in my mind a lot and my, my all of mine were actually had I have really strong patterns my perineum would, be, would fucking clench when I would be in the moments of confrontation or being confronted about something that uh, I really want to do. All these times where these things would come in for me, I would just let that control me. And every time they controlled me, I felt that it was something good I wasn't doing because it wasn't what I wanted. And you guys intuitively feel that uh, there's something happening inside me when I see someone. There's something happening inside of me when I go for what it is that I want. There's something happening inside of me when I interact with the world in a new way. When I try to interact with the world in a new way. This is giving you direct information to you. This is giving you direct information about what is it that I need to learn from. Much like my mentor video where I talk to you guys about let every situation mentor you. You got to let your body mentor you. Let your body tell you where you need to open up. A lot of people are actually afraid of intensity. A lot of people are afraid of expressing their heart, expressing their feelings. A lot of people are afraid of expressing their sexuality in its full range. A lot of people are afraid of expression in itself. So every time they go to express themselves, their throat becomes shaky and they feel like they're closing down. Mostly everybody living in their fucking head 
all these points of being in a prison, all these points of bodily closure are the reasons for your non-freedom in life. Stop blaming the government. Stop blaming your mom. Stop blaming your sister. Stop blaming your, your girlfriend or your past exes. Stop blaming anybody for your loss of freedom. Please do. Because the moment you stop blaming them, the moment you are, you'll start to see what is the cause of that. Because everybody wants to do this. That's easy. Because you don't have to take responsibility. But the moment you start taking responsibility, you start to know that you caused that. I caused this and I caused that. And at this point, guys will turn off my video because it feels very uncomfortable for them. And I want you to. If you stay through this video, that means that you really care about your own freedom. This is not booful. This is one of the ways that a person can allow themselves to really experience themselves as free, as space, as full expression. So if I had to take it from two standpoints, I'll take it from the stillness standpoint and the expression standpoint. As far as expression, when you start to express yourself in any way that's new for you, not in the ways that you're comfortable with, but in the ways that are new for you, because now you're moving towards freedom, because people are always moving towards freedom, like I told you. Where do you shut down? When you're trying to express yourself in an intense way, do you shut down? When you try to express your way in a very soft and gentle way, do you shut down? You'll notice this. If you're trying to express warmth, tenderness, love, joy. Do you feel a bit weird about it and you try to move away from it? Do you feel a bit tension in your chest and you try to move away from it? When you try to express intensity of any emotion, anger, frustration, sexuality, do you shut down to yourself? Meaning like, when the expression wants to be expressed, do you stop it? That's what this means. Shutting down is do you stop it? And you know when you're stopping this. If you look at people right about right away when they're about to cry, you'll notice that their jaw starts to shake. Their throat becomes, it starts to shake. They do this thing like this. And I can feel in that moment, they're holding back. That means they're shutting down to the emotion that wants to be expressed. You'll start to notice that they take a deep breath. Because when you actually go into crying, your breath doesn't become deep. It actually becomes more shallow because you're submitting to the feeling. Once you really submit to the feeling, it bursts out and actually you have small breaths. That's when you get people who are like, <laughs> they do that, that you actually don't breathe deep. But at the end of all the crying, you like reset with, <sighs> okay, and that's basically how people reset. But when people are actually crying, their mouth is open. Like people shut down so to so many emotions, it is so crazy. And crying is one of the main ones that people shut down to. I've shut down to crying so many times in my past. Now I completely don't. So that's just one of the ways. So whether it be with the intense ones or expressing one in an intense way or ones that are soft and gentle, expressing those in that way, now, how do I start to express these things in a way that they need to be expressed? How can I start to be freely free in my expression of whatever I want to express, whether it be intense or whether it be soft and gentle? What I would say is, when you feel certain emotions, when you feel emotions throughout the day, and this is totally from awareness because awareness is where a change happens, be aware of actually what do you do when you want to express something. 
do you stop yourself by breathing? Do you stop yourself by changing the subject? Do you stop yourself by trying to make the uh, subject lighter? Do you stop yourself by laughing? What are all the ways that you cut yourself off to your emotions, the expression of your emotions? And as you feel yourself going to do that or in the process of doing that, because you have to catch it while you're doing it or right before or while, while it's arising, and just allow yourself to soften your body. Because what you're doing is that you're just becoming hard. That's what's happening. You actually physically are becoming constricted. You are. So you really need to just allow yourself to breathe and soften and relax yourself in that moment. Wherever you, whatever emotion you feel, pretend as if you're submitting to it. Submit to the emotion, which means that let the emotion have the effect on you that it needs to have. Submit to it. Whether well, that it is, if you want to cry, sometimes you might just have to do this. You might just have to do that. You're submitting to it. How does that emotion make you feel in that moment? However it makes you feel, submit to that way. Whether it be you feel hurt and you just go, oh, and you just allow yourself to feel hurt. Whatever it is, submit your body to it. And as you submit your body to it, you start to feel what it feels like to be human. People are trying to walk around with all these facades and all these fucking barriers up and they're forgetting that they're human. You have emotions. You have emotions that want to be expressed, whether it be in a fucking intense way or whether it be in a way that's very soft and gentle and sad, maybe a sadness, whatever it may be. But submit your body to it. And that brings me to the intense side. Whether it be anger. You feel angry in the moment and you want to express something. Allow yourself to fucking do it. Because once you do it, you, you allow yourself to submit your body to it. Maybe it makes you do this. Maybe it makes you fucking do like this. But once you submit your body to it, it can leave. People have all this back history of expression. It's all these suppressed emotions so it comes out at bad times. When they're in front of people, they may blow up on them because all day they've been in this place of, fuck, I'm just angry. And then a person just go, accidentally bumps into them and they go, fuck, or something like that. They just blow up and it's out of context. Start to be in control of your emotions by being able to be in control of your body. Start to be able to express things by understanding that expression is something that happens through you. So if you don't express it to the extent that it needs to be expressed, then guess what will happen? It will have back history. And that back history turns into energy blocks. And the energy blocks, they come stronger and stronger and stronger the more that you, sub that you don't submit to the patterns. That's the expression side. Now we move into the stillness. Stillness is something that you can allow yourself to submit to as well. <clears throat> Silence. Submit to silence. This is the true work, guys. Women. This is the true work. Submitting to silence is submitting to the unknown. Silence is so incredibly unknown that it holds the power to most of the things that people need. Because in silence, in settling into the silence, because it's not silence and I'll be, oh my God, what should I do? It's really settling into the silence and going, I accept that there's silence here and I want to know what is, what's going to arise from it. You start to see your excuses. You start to become the observer of this moment. You start to become the observer of when you're closing down. Bodily stillness, which means that in this moment right now, I'm submitting my body to the stillness that pervades. And that's in any type of sitting, whether I'm sitting like this whether I'm laying down, whether I'm standing up and walking, I'm submitting myself to silence. <clears throat> and as I'm submitted to silence, 
the beautiful thing that happens from silence is that expression can come through silence in a clearer way. It all works together. You want freedom, but you don't want silence. You want expression of who you are, but you don't want pain. Why do you want so much freedom, but you're not willing to bodily experience the freedom that actually can be experienced? Any person that's walking around this earth and telling me that they're free, and they feel free, and they feel like they're completely free on the inside, and they still have constrictions that they haven't dealt with, they're not truly free. They have more to work on. I allow myself to experience myself as freedom most of the day. Key word, most. So that means there's times where I have to stay open because I feel a constriction. And I'm not afraid of that. I've accepted that and I understand that, yeah, as people, we close down. We become afraid. We don't want to deal with situations. We don't want to deal with pain. But also, also, I also understand that as people, we can't deal with any pain that's on the inside. We have it. We can deal with the pain. You didn't, get, you didn't get put on this earth so that you are just completely bombarded with pain and, and, and you can't deal with it. Every single thing that's inside of you, you are equipped to be able to deal with it. There's certain things right now that you can't handle, that you're gathering strength for, that you'll be ready for in the future. But can you submit yourself to yourself and really allow yourself to be open? Freedom is not just for a man or woman. Freedom is for all. As a person submits themselves to freedom, they forget that they are a man or woman and they become connected.